Hawley as a, a leading edge uh, consultancy um, with over 800 people. We keep abreast with what's going on and we can inform our clients to make sure that they're getting the best advice we're able to give them. The building is about 10 years old. It is a recycled building and we think that's good because we have limited the amount of uh, embodied carbon that you would have consumed in cons constructing a new, a new building. Why did we move? Quite simple really. Our lease was uh, reaching its expiry. We needed expansion space because we are a growing practice and we needed space for our staff. Our refurbishment took place over a six to eight uh, week period. Quite a tight schedule. This is a, a two-storey building of approximately five and a half thousand square feet. We could obviously have stayed with a conventional VRF system. At the time, uh, we were in discussion with Mitsubishi and uh, they introduced us to the possibility of thinking about a HVRF system. The first project in Wales, uh, really excited about it because not only is it the first project in Wales, but it's the innovative side to the product as well. How, how can you not be excited about something like that? An amazing concept in the HVRF. We've got a system there which does actually help us blend in with the mechanical contractors as well. So it's not more of a, just a, a pure AC orientated system but it's also a, it has a wet side to it as well and that blends us with the mechanical contractors and I think it's got great potential to really take on the market certainly the uh, the four pipe systems. And this was certainly going to be the first installation in Wales and we've got quite an inquisitive uh, bunch of engineers in the office and we thought we could actually couple that interest and technical desire to evaluate a newish system uh, and combine that with seeing how it actually operated in practice in the office working environment. And with that feedback, Mitsubishi, who obviously had backed themselves because it's no easy feat to put um, a system into a consulting engineer's office, so uh, we could provide some, some valuable feedback. One of the features of having the water side distribution out of the fan coils is that there's a better temperature regulation of the off-coil uh, condition. Um, and our experience to date has proved that um, you know, this, this temperature is much more manageable and less of an issue to uh, causing drafts in the workplace. I think the technology has got great potential throughout the whole uh, course of buildings. Obviously refrigeration has been a, a big talking point for everybody and refrigerant detection uh, has been a, quite a capital cost over and above any chill water uh, package, for example. I suppose if we only not just look at the CAPEX side, but you have to look at the OPEX side as well. So the overall uh, project costs over, say, a 15-year period, I think are going to far outweigh anything that uh, you would potentially have with a VRF product or even maybe four pipe chill water. It's, it's a very similar product in a sense of control and flexibility. Mm -hmm. You still have the same fan calls, you have the, the highly efficient condensing units. The application is, is, is quite similar as well in its own right. So from an installation point of view, I feel that, that there are sort of similarities to VRF and the, the HVRF product, which fortunately for Mitsubishi, they're the ones that have got you know, the benefit of, of both systems now. It's, it's just fantastic and uh, what we can't wait from here on is to sort of shout about this uh, and we're really excited to, uh, to get the sales force out there and, uh, and banging the drum about it. <laughs>